Now, isn't that cool? Let's try and get in a little closer there. This is half inch galvanized from whenever this house was plumbed. I would guess probably, well, the house was probably built in the 20s. Like always, it's the hot water line that starts leaking. It never seems to be the cold water line. And the nice thing about it is, is it's just a little, about a four foot run. I'm just gonna shut off the water, cut it. Hopefully I can back it out right here. That's always the challenging part. I guess I'll just replace it with a stick of copper. Might have to heat that up with a torch to get it to back out. Depends on how corrodomatic this pipe is. Sometimes this stuff is so bad. Now the nice thing about this being a hot water I don't have to go outside to shut it off. I can just, at least I think it's the hot water. Should just be able to uh, kill it right there. So, yeah, that seems to have killed it. I don't know if this will. Yeah, so I'm on the outside now. And um, this is the other side of it right here. Of course, it's butted up against a drain line or something. It's pretty, uh, it's in there pretty rock solid. So, we'll get a hacksaw. What I might do is I might put some pipe tape on that to keep it from, um, when I'm torquing on it, keep it from bouncing around and then uh, ripping ripping out, ripping ripping on the rest of the pipe and causing another leak. Because I really don't want to replace this whole thing. Okay, I've decided to use PEX. PEX tubing because this is approved for you know all use and it's good for hot water. And this is for the shower anyway so no one's going to be drinking it. Um, we got different connectors here. We got shark bite. Pipe tape, pipe wrenches, cutter, crimp connector, crimp. The crimp is for the Odeker clamps for this one. Okay, so first thing I'll do is. Uh, Put a piece of pipe tape here to hold this up. Now I'm going to try and cut this thing. And uh, once I cut it, if I can get it out of here. You know. Lighting is always very important when you're doing video. And of course, another reason to replace this with PEX is to kill electrolysis. Which you can almost be guaranteed that's why this EOL'd and the rest of it, the cold, that's the cold water over there, looks like brand new. See, uh, electrolysis just ate the zinc plating. It's killed the zinc. All right, so two pipe wrenches, push and pull. And, uh, well, luckily it actually unscrewed. And uh, this thing's not really that plugged up at all. Actually it looks pretty good in there, considering Considering it's uh, close to a hundred years old and Huh, I don't like how that's laying on that electrical line right there that I'm gonna try and 
We might want to put a piece of plastic in between those because uh, her piece of, maybe I got some fish paper I could just for high voltage. The idea is you get electrons flowing through this stuff and it just very slowly, low voltage, high current, just kind of eats it up. Let's go see if I could get the outside off. Okay, let's see. I can't really get two pipe wrenches on this one, so let's videotape the carnage. Ugh. Hey, that one came out nice and easy too. We're having a good day here. Okay. Let's have a look here. Well, usually this stuff is plugged up. This is not, this is not that bad. I'm going to go with this style simply because if you screw it up, you can cut the clamp and redo it. I don't have the insert for this to break the pipe loose. All right, I have applied Teflon tape as a lubricant to help prevent leaks and help it go in easier. Okay, let's see here. Seven eighths. Twenty two or twenty three millimeters. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crank this in here. Sometimes this damn camera won't focus. All right, well, cut to length. I got it. I got it stuck on out there. This was just a short little extra piece I had. It looks like it's going to work. Okay, so now we put our Odeker clamp on here. And what we want to do is grab it here. Again, one-handed. Uh, and you want to squeeze the shit out of this thing. And um, I mean really, as hard as you can. See that? Pinched all the way closed. All right, there we go. A nice new piece of PEX tubing. Let's go pressure it up and see if it works. Um, this is the bath. This is the tub right here. This is the the drain. That's the trap for the tub. This is the cold water. It's the hot water. And uh, that's the vent going to the roof. And this is the the drain going out. All these nice chunks coming out. Well, crap. And this has been leaking because look at the the uh, is leaking out of the the, the solder joint. Look at the uh, calcium mineral build up there. Of course my joints not leaking at all. Yeah, my thing is as dry as it gets. Why wouldn't I have noticed that though? Because I came up under here and put a wire problem is to solder this thing you got to get all the water out of it it will not solder with any water in the pipe 
pretty much what I need to do is I need to um, shit yeah this has been going for a long time because there's even you could see the mineralized buildup there running down and then there's actually a mineralized crust on this wire this telephone wire so I guess what I'm gonna have to do well I got two ways I could do this I could cut it pull unback this off um, put a coupler in there or I could desolder it down there at that elbow pull it out put a new piece of pipe in with a new half inch uh, female pipe thread to the copper um, or I could turn the water off and open the um, open the um, um, faucet up up there in the bathtub and then blow air back through the faucet uh, through the because this this one here goes to the sink this goes to the sink that red one goes to the tub try and blow air through there and get the water out of it still it's going to be a tough thing to get the all the water out of it because it's it's the lowest point I'm gonna have to think about this for a while okay here's the other thing I've come up with and I think this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn the hot water off drain all the pressure out then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the shop vac on the bathtub which will suck a vacuum on that red line there and then I'm going to open the sink up which will allow it to suck all the water out like that and I'll just have her monitor the vacuum while I torch this. I got an oxyacetylene torch. I could probably get that so hot it would boil the water out of there or melt a hole right through the pipe. Um, and then I'll, I'll pull this open. Boy, that's been leaking for a long time. Look at how electrolysis out. That should probably be a brass coupling in there. Is what that should be. That should be brass or that should have a plastic or Teflon insert. Isn't this a beauty? It's not plugged up. Okay, so day number two. Um, vacuum suck the water out of the line so that I can get a torch on there and get that solder to loosen up. So what we'll do is just kind of hope this works. And I, I got the filter taken out of this, of course. <laughs> So what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to desolder it right there and then I'm going to unscrew the whole entire pipe. Uh, let's see how this goes. Alright, that came off easy and not a drop of water. Huh, well this is brilliant. Uh, I got this loose. And um... The pipe just fell right out of it. Where am I here? Look at that. The solder, whoever soldered this, didn't even flow the solder 
into the joint. This was this was a disaster waiting to happen. Let's take a nice long look at this. Okay, home repair the extended version so I clean this all up. Come on, focus. And you can see exactly how much solder was holding this together. I used the, uh, the brush and then I used one of these battery terminal cleaners to clean this up. Come on, focus. That's it. That's all it was holding it right there. I think we're ready to reflow this. Well, here it is. It's all good and soldered, flowed through. I know it's a good solder joint now. Let's go put it back. All right, rewrap this with Teflon tape. I slid a piece of a PVC over this. I'm going to use it as an insulator between where these pipes touch that conduit. And uh, let's put it together. Boy, there seems like a lot of restriction on that. Oh, let's go under and see if it's leaking. Okay, well. That's a solder drip there. This looks good. This is not going to leak. Of course, I got my piece of pipe there, my insulator. Yeah, this is good. Now I'll give it a month or so to dry out and uh, let it resettle, and then I'll fix that uh, drywall tape. That's interesting.